Okay, here's an American airline coming through right now. But uh, I don't see it, so it must be up above the, uh, the clouds. A lot of them coming through. A lot of them coming through spraying, some coming through below the clouds, not spraying. Some darker trails being laid, it's kind of strange. Like, I've seen like four of them come through. Oh, well, maybe this is the American coming through here, but I think he's, I think the one I showed on flat radar was uh, out in front of this one. I'll pull this one up, see what it is, but again, you see those darker trails there? And then the lighter trail, that one just came through. And that's the lighter trail. And then there was about four of them that came through right there you can make them out to see the straight lines and then uh, now up over here we have this jet coming through and I've seen about this is about the fifth one I've seen Let's see if it'll show up on here That's FedEx. FedEx are usually spraying, so he's... Back off camera, there we go. Let's see if I can grab him again, I lost him. When I get zoomed in, it's... you lose him. But that was a FedEx, and usually FedEx are spraying, so he's probably gonna save, he's save his payload to dump somewhere else. But he's right at the edge of the... Uh, The clouds. In fact, he's getting lost in them right now. So, oh, now look at this. Here's something interesting. There is a trail he left, and it's another dark trail. Now, I don't know if that was just from his jet engines. I think that's actually a spray that wasn't showing up because it's not a white spray. It was blending in with the uh, with the whole mixture up there. The mixture of the uh, somewhat natural water vapor clouds with the uh, all the different type of substances they're spraying and I think you can clearly see they're spraying dark trails like that FedEx that just came through I'll try to zero in with not right there see right along there that was the line that FedEx just left as he faded off into the uh, the chem cloud mixture up there heading uh, due east out over the Salton Sea but they usually vector more uh, northeast so he'll probably do his vectoring elsewhere but again uh, you can clearly see the sky over here the uh, wave effects in the sky you, you look at it, the sky long enough and through the years of me watching it, uh, I've come to know when they're really amping up the, uh, the Tesla technology. And one came through there, kind of broke up that, left that little puff there and kind of went through there and broke up those clouds there. But uh, again, so it just shows that uh, they do spray different mixtures. They fly at different flight paths. These pilots absolutely know what's going on. And I'll take one last shot at here of that chemtrail that just came through. I can see it, see if it'll show up, but you can see it spreading out. It's a dark chemtrail right along there. That was with that FedEx left. In fact, all the way down, if you follow the trail, you can actually see where it went through there. So, again, I think it's a diff different mixture. So, hmm, that was an interesting catch. See what anybody has to say about that. All feedback's welcome. Trying to figure out this just like everybody else, but that one book by Peter Kirby, look him up. It's an excellent book. The guy's done a massive amounts of research on it. Again, uh, 
he's not a journalist, but started researching it. Uh, saw Michael Murphy's documentaries, what in the world they spraying, why in the world they spraying. He didn't believe it at first and started watching this guy. And then, you know, he had already caught on to 9-11 and knew that was a total scam. So, you know, once you kind of get past your cognitive dissonance and understand that, uh, you know, what they're doing here and how they're covering up is a little step after little step, it all becomes kind of easier and easier to take in. There are some people that never will take it. And something interesting that Peter and Kirby uncovered was Donald Trump's uncle, John, who Donald Trump was named after, his middle name, Donald J. Trump, was the one that went through Tesla's research and decided what research was uh, viable enough to use for weather modification. So Donald Trump knows about all this. And now that with this latest thing going on in Syria, you know, is he just another neocon warmonger? You know, first they give they give the uh, the for eight years that you know we had Obama in there, the, the puppet, the puppet for the socialist and the uh, the liberals. So now they're going to give us the hero for the uh, conservatives and the constitutionalists, Donald J. Trump. Now, doesn't that fit? And what was one of the guys, Manley P. Hall, I think he says, a 33 degree Mason, might have been somebody else, but said, you know, if, if they want a hero, we'll give them a hero. Well, I think t Trump is beginning to kind of fit that picture. I wasn't sure about him first. I, I didn't believe him at first. And then he was saying all the right things. But now, with what's going on with Syria, and, you know, where did they get those chemical weapons? And just like with Saddam Hussein, you know, they'll go, oh, we got to go to war. He's got weapons of mass destruction. Well, they never found him. That was all a con. That was a con by the Bush family. You know, we've been conned all along. I don't know when the last good president we had was maybe Reagan, maybe uh, Kennedy. I think Kennedy was, they thought they could control, control him. And in the end, the only way they could control him was uh, to take him out. You know, he went up against the Federal Reserve, reinstated the silver dollar certificate. Amongst other things, he was going to break the CIA into a thousand pieces. And he talked about the secret societies and secret oaths, which the Freemasons have. So he, Kennedy knew about it. He knew too much, so they had to get rid of him. And maybe Eisenhower was okay. He did warn us about the military industrial complex. But they used him too. I mean, anybody and anybody that gets in there is either one of the players or they're going to get control of him. I think Trump's been a player all along. You know, his his daughter, his first daughter, by Ivana, uh, Ivanka, married Jared Kushner, converted to Judaism. You know, I'm I'm actually somewhat pro-Israel. Uh, I believe God has a plan for Israel. There's Israel's in prophecy. Is political Israel now a fulfillment of biblical prophecy? It, it's a partial ful fulfillment, excuse me, but it's not a complete fulfillment. It won't be until Jesus actually steps down on the Mount of Olives and rips it in two at the end of the tribulation period. That's the fulfillment of prophecy there. But is this a partial prophecy? Yes. Yes, it is. So, you know, I, I understand there's two points of Zionism. So that's a whole other thing to research and a lot of prophecy guys disagree with it you know there's a big turn to turn away from israel and there's a bad side to israel the Mossad. you know israel has the Mossad, and we have the cia and they're both one and the same they're both one and the same well one came through right here i didn't see the jet coming through but you can see the trail coming through there a dark trail again just like the other dark trail so uh again just wondering about this whole syria thing you know, Trump gets up there, oh, the poor children, they got got it by the chemical weapons. We need to go in there and bomb Assad. Well, this is all about getting these dictators out. I mean, this is what they're doing. So this is, this is prophecy, guys. It's being fulfilled, and it's heating up fast. Anybody that's studied biblical prophecy, uh, it's happening. And just with this geoengineering going on, but, you know, like Dane Wigington talks about every Saturday, listen to his cast. I don't agree totally with everything that Dane says, but, you know, he, he says a lot of a lot of right on things. I agree with him a lot, a lot of things. So, anyhow, this run along a little bit long. Hope I've educated 
said out there, but uh, check out at least Peter Kirby's uh, interviews. Uh, just go Google Peter Kirby uh, Geoengineering, and he's done some interviews. He did uh, a pretty good interview with James Fetzer, who I'm not a big fan of James Fetzer. He, he, he's somewhat controlled, but they all are. Mainly controlled on Dr. Judy Wood's book, Where Did the Towers Go? Evidence of uh, Free Energy. Uh, which is Tesla technology, which is what they brought down the World Trade Centers with. It was not controlled demolition as architects and engineers. Richard Gage says that's just another level of the dis dis disinformation just along that it was brought down with mini nukes. There were no mini nukes. There were no uh, controlled demolition. Maybe some where the, where the fake planes ran into the, 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 the building. That explosion had to have been caused by some kind of something they had planted in the building there. And, uh, oh, another thing is, too, um, keep, things keep popping in my head, but Bush's brother and senior Bush's, one of his sons, was head of the security for the World Trade Center. So there you go. There you go, right there. So they were obviously planting something in there, but it wasn't, it wasn't thermite and it wasn't mini nukes. No, they, they did it with, with a far more advanced technology than... And they don't want us to know about it because anybody that's interviewed Dr. Judy Wood on her findings, it's a 500 page book. Uh, I need to do a report on it, open a book up and just kind of do, do a synopsis of it and give some highlights of it. But it is an absolutely excellent book. Dr. Judy Wood, where did the towers go? She has three degrees in engineering and she saw those buildings come down and she knew it just didn't look right. So check out some of her interviews too. There's a lot of disinformation on her. A lot of she got attacked big time. Everybody turned against her. J.B. Wells, Caravan to Midnight turned against her. Uh, Doug Hagman on uh, Hagman and Hagman to some degree, but they won't they won't even cover her anymore. Uh, and uh, Alex Jones turned on her. They all turned on her. Uh, Stephen Jones. Uh, big time. He turned on Pons and Fleischmann who were, uh, oh, they found cold fusion and that's another technology that could be used to rid us from the so-called fossil fuel. But uh, again, it's uh, who controls everything. Who controls everything. Tesla was a good guy. Edison was just a scumbag. Just a greedy, greedy, awful person. But that's all you ever heard about in school when I grew up. I never knew, heard about Tesla. Oh, Edison, Edison, Edison. Tesla was a good guy. He wanted to help humanity. Well, look how what his technology is being used for. So, anyways. All right, that's enough. It's went on a little long. So, 